those Fenway breaks are stupendous. Almost as good as a Trump dog, Biko. Almost as good as a Trump dog. Just like the guy is down on the field, we made sure to drag ours around the infield before ingesting them. Now Garrett Delano, one of the best pitchers on tour. In his third campaign for the Party Animals, takes over for the bottom of the third. This is Delano's 17th outing this season, his fifth in relief for the Party Animals. He is working much quicker in his third season with the Party Animals. He's dropped his average MPI this season by almost one minute from last year. Ryan Cox chops the second pitch over to his shortstop counterpart, Chase Acup, who fields this one between the legs and already has a hat trick's worth of trick plays in this ball game for the Animals. Another look, that's a doozy. It does not get much better than that. As DR Meadows, now that we're back at the top of the order, taking a creative route in, bangs on the pesky pole, and sprints all the way from the right field wall to home plate. If you're ever doing karaoke with DR, and he says, let's do a Kelly Clarkson karaoke battle, I think you should think better of it. I want no part of that matchup. The doctor perfect is he belts out since you've been gone. And now steps up to the dish. Against the kid out of Callahan, Florida. Delano, a 2018 collegiate banana. Spent four years at Brown. During his Ivy League days was when he was a collegiate nanner. Then he finished up with a year at Mercer University. He's a tough cookie on the bump. Two seam, four seam cut fastballs all in the low 90s. Works in a changeup and a curveball as well. And they are all devastating pitches. And this is a powerful matchup we've got between these two guys. Delano leading all party animals with his 45 strikeouts this season. And DR Meadows has had 91 consecutive plate appearances without a strikeout for the Bananas. A remarkable 15 ball four sprint to four strikeout ratio on the tour. As he can't connect on the cutter, and we'll get a payoff pitch. That's what the doctor does. So good at spoiling. I mean, he's very reminiscent of an old school leadoff hitter. He's got a very short swing, sometimes tries to slap singles, and he's got high level speed, and a guy you know is easily going to bat 300. And Reese Hampton took a couple steps back. Unsure if that one was going to drift on him a little bit. Took a couple steps back in in center field. Coming up with the second out for Garrett Delano. The R has been retired twice now by his counterpart. Hampton's hit a ball to him, so three out of their four combined plate appearances. They've been peppering balls to each other. Now Bill Leroy steps in. Line drive base knock to left. He was pinch run for by Malachi Mitchell, who ended up scoring the inning winning run in the first. Theatrics there for ball home after a great stop. Leroy has not stolen first base yet on this tour. Maceo Harrison, the dancing first base coach, continues to wow. The full capacity crowd on hand here in Beantown. Bill was catching Delano back in the summer of 2018. Now gets to face him for a third straight tour. They know each other very well. It's a barrel, but straight to A cup. And a one, two, three frame for Big D. A two minute and 39 second inning for Garrett Delano tonight. 
the fastest we've seen from any pitcher in tonight's ballgame.